So what exactly is this thing and how can you use it to get some awesome video footage of the properties you're trying to sell? Well, we're gonna talk about all that in the next few minutes. Stick around. So in case you didn't know, there is an emerging marketing tool that's really starting to make a big splash in the real estate world, and that is video. And video is something that most people as of right now don't do when they're listing properties. And to be fair, there's a lot of properties that don't really justify video because they're either really cheap or they're just not much to look at. So video isn't really a huge help. But there are some properties out there that are really high-end homes or some kind of land that has really unique distinguishing features. And video can be an awesome, awesome marketing tool that can make a huge effect on your ability to sell a property for more and to sell it faster. Now, one of the problems with real estate video is that the people who do try to pull it off and include videos in their listings typically don't do a great job of it. A lot of times they're just pulling out their phone and just kind of walking through a property and calling it good. And I think that's usually better than nothing in some cases, but it really just kind of looks really amateur and unprofessional. And a lot of times the footage is all shaky and just hard to follow, and it doesn't make the property look nearly as good as it could. In my opinion, a good real estate video usually needs a few key components in order for it to make the property actually look good. First of all, the property needs to be in good working order. It should be staged. It should have everything looking as good as it possibly can, aesthetically speaking. Some properties are disgusting. They don't look good at all. They're old, they're outdated. And in some of those cases, I think video you know, might not be the best fit for it, but if it's a property that looks beautiful in any way, shape, or form, then there's a fair chance that video could add a lot to that property's visual appeal to buyers on the market. It's also really important to have good lighting when you're shooting video. And this is something that can actually be sort of difficult when you're shooting inside houses, because some houses don't have great lighting, or they don't have very big windows, and there's not much daylight that comes in. So this can be kind of a struggle, but if you shoot at the right time of the day, and if you get the right lighting and do the proper white balancing, it can look very, very good if you do it right. Another important component is to have professional and creative footage of the property with high quality shots, creative angles, and good movement throughout the property so that it doesn't just look boring, it actually looks interesting as you're taking the viewer through the property. And then lastly, it's really important to have good editing with the proper narrative, order of shots, background music, information displayed at the bottom so that the viewer can really understand what they're looking at and it's kind of fed to them in a way that's fun to watch and interesting to see. Now, if you're not a professional videographer, it can actually be really, really difficult to pull off the whole aspect of getting creative shots and taking the camera through the property in a way that looks good with stable footage and something that's just easy to watch. Because a lot of times you need some good equipment in order to get the right shots with the right movement. And this is something that not everybody has on hand. It is not really easy for just a property owner or a real estate agent to just pick this stuff up and do it with ease in order to make it actually look good in the end. And that's why I wanted to mention to you this little gadget that I just learned about recently. Uh, it's called the Geranos 3-axis stabilizer from a company called Glide Gear. And the reason this thing is so cool, as weird as it looks, is that you can actually take a DSLR camera like this one right here and mount it on the top and this thing will stabilize the footage for you so that literally all you have to do is just move this wand around and your footage will look very stable with no shakes. It's gonna be really easy to watch. And it's actually got these electronic motors in it that make basically no noise at all. And it just makes it extremely, extremely easy to get great footage. You don't have to have any prior skills or working knowledge of, of how to make it work just right. You literally just balance it correctly on this thing, turn it on, pick it up, and it's good to go. Okay, so once you get your camera mounted on this thing, and this took me, I don't know, about a minute or so to get this balanced just right. On your first time, it might take a little bit longer than that. But once it's balanced, this is a battery-powered motorized gimbal. So. You just hit this little on off button on the side. And you'll see this light flashing and then it'll come to life like this. And as you can see, when I move this around, 
the camera slowly follows and I can kind of do this weird movement stuff and I mean, assuming I don't hit anything, <laughs> the camera stays very, very stable. And it's also got this up and down switch so I can push it and the camera will move up like that nice and smoothly or I can push it down so it will go down like that. Um, just a really, really nice piece of equipment that's easy to use. This particular camera is a Canon T4i with a 24 millimeter lens. This lens is really lightweight. The camera is not the most lightweight, but sort of on the lighter end for Canon cameras. Something to keep in mind is that this particular gimbal, it has to have a weight of no more than 2.6 pounds on this thing. And based on the type of lens you're using with the camera, it is possible to exceed that weight limit. So that's just something you'll want to be aware of. I actually had to weigh mine with a little postal uh, scale just to make sure it, it wasn't too heavy for this thing. Uh, if you've got a mirrorless camera like a, a Panasonic GH4 or a Sony A-Series camera, something like that, those are well below the weight limit of this thing and they work really, really well with this kind of gimbal. Um, Again, like I said, this thing is battery powered and the batteries actually last a long time. Like, I, I literally, I've used this quite a bit and I have not recharged these batteries since I started using this thing. <laughs> so it's probably been running actively for about, I don't know, eight hours now. I've, I've heard they last up to 12 hours, but I haven't gotten to that point yet, so. Um, but yeah, it's just a, a really, really nice piece of equipment and makes it really super easy to get really, really smooth shots. And I'm actually gonna show you a little compilation of shots that I took with this stabilizer just, just a few days ago. So you can kind of get an idea for how it looks. Let's quick just check out some of the video footage that I took and you can get a better idea for just how good it can make your footage look. And keep in mind here, I probably didn't get the right lighting levels with any of this footage. And, and again, I'm not a professional. I'm Purely an amateur, I'm, I'm not, I don't do this for a living. It's just something that uh, I think it's a good representation of how much better this can make your footage look and how easy it is to do that because it took me pretty much no skill to pull this off.
So there you have it. As you can see, the footage looks awesome. Once you get that smooth footage, it's really not hard to just edit those clips together and put some nice music in the background, make it look nice and pretty. And also keep in mind, this thing is actually designed for these big honking DSLR cameras. And if you've got a DSLR camera or a mirrorless camera, which, which is really nice because they have these interchangeable lenses and you can make the footage look about as good as anybody can hope for. But if you don't already have one of these, you don't necessarily need to go out and get one. These actually work with smartphones. You could mount a smartphone on here or a GoPro camera if you have one of those. And for that matter, this company that, that, that makes and sells this is called Glide Gear. They actually have a cheaper and more lightweight version of this called the Leos. And I'll, I'll include a link to that one beneath this video as well. And the Leos is, is just a smaller, lighter, cheaper version of this where it's just meant for smartphones and GoPro cameras and not these big DSLR ones. And the price is less than half of what this one costs. So if you're just looking for that level, that's available too. And that, that may even be a more ideal fit for a lot of like real estate agents who don't necessarily have all this big fancy camera equipment, but they do have their phone and they wanna get the best, smoothest footage that they can with just a quick trip to the property and a lighter weight version of this same tool. So be sure to check that out if you think that might be a better fit for you. Um, and just so you know, uh, Glide Gear did send me this thing for free so that I could do this review, but this is not a paid video. I'm not getting paid by them for this. So I, I really, I have no obligation to tell you that this is an awesome piece of equipment. I'm just telling you it's awesome because it is awesome. I've been really, really impressed with this. It's probably the, my favorite piece of camera equipment that I own right now, just because it makes the job so easy to get really professional looking footage. Be sure to check this thing out because it is awesome. I couldn't recommend it more. Uh, and I think it's just a really helpful tool for a lot of people out there. So check it out. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you again soon.